Welcome back to Think Create Code. In our first week, we covered quite a lot. What programming languages look like, what programming looks like in processing, and the idea of the algorithm. Remember that an algorithm is simply a sequence of instructions that can be interpreted by a computer using a programming language. In this course, we're using the processing programming language, which can be used to create artworks, visualizations, and animations. In the first few lessons of this course, we saw how we could include specific instructions in our programs to create different shapes, including setting their fill and color attributes. These instructions used existing functions provided by the processing language. We introduced several functions that you can use to create shapes, and also set attributes for those shapes, such as setting the fill color for a shape. We also saw how we use a coordinate layout system to indicate where our shapes should be placed on our blank canvas. This helps us know exactly how our artwork will appear. In this week's lessons, we will explore the use of data in programming. Data is essential in programming. We have already seen how we use data in the form of values that control how large our shapes are, what color they are, and where they are positioned on the canvas. Data can also be used in more powerful ways, in that data can be used to control decisions that we make. For example, whether we place a shape at one end of the canvas or another. Or can be used to control whether we choose to do something or choose not to. Data can also be used to control how many times we do something. We can also use data to calculate or create new information. In this week's lessons, we will learn how data can be used to make our processing programs more powerful. We will learn about some new functions that can make our artworks more interesting, while also learning about new programming concept called the variable.